something expecting something exciting around the corner. It looked like a burlesque show. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. like there's going to be a strip please come on. Are about to open the house lights are dimming and yeah. just a spotlight on the velvet curtain. Mm -hmm. And they part and there's nothing. Yeah, except to And what are we going to do? Uh, um, and Hello, everyone. How are you? We're going to entertain. That's what we're going to do. That's what we're here for. Have you got something you'd like to bring up? No, I was. This is the three prong. The other night I mentioned in the when I woke up at eight fifty five one morning this week, my watch stopped at exactly the percent. Oh. Share the experiences with 
and that apparition perhaps the vision that you want to share with us perhaps you have seen an angel
adult
Have you got the right things for me? No, no we Machines take us back in time. We hear so many noises dropped in TV shows that we've managed to ignore them completely. But here, one out of context. Jump to the exact series every time. There's a few I don't know. The general release is air horn from the Dukes of Hazard. Yeah, and sure about that. Samantha's 
no twinkle. Yes. <laughs> and I hate that where doorbell rings because it gets so
story.
I think it's got something to do with the accent. I think they can take an American accent and, and make it their own and sell the Americans uh, right up the river as far as uh, authenticity is. Oh, 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 
cook your own meal, she sure do. Thank you, Chris. Twenty past ten. I think in time there'll be handprints and there'll be uh, there will be uh, statues and monuments. It reminds me of those little bridges across. I can just see Peter flitting over the one of those. Or arriving in a carriage and pair Yes. <laughs> 
Japanese community. Well, in fact, I too went on a one of those expeditions to the city. You got to go here. It's just marvelous. And I thought, oh, that sounds great. And
Yes, of course. Beautiful. Yes. No, it's not. Mischievous, but, but I can't help loving him. Well, I've totally tried him.
maybe be
video
it's a bit too uh, uh, physical for people. Like it's a, it is a
early 70s when I was working up there. And I went to the South Sydney Leagues Club. How uh, we all did that?
October of 1896. His father was Italian, his mother Spanish. Not until he was 25 did he take up fighting professionally. The technique of the ceaseless pulverizing attack. Furpo was a natural crowd pleaser. And he rocketed to the top of the local boxing
Here's he, he the, the fell champion back into the ring. Meantime, the flustered referee had forgotten to commence the count. Unquestionably, Dempsey should have been counted out and the decision given in the purple. But the referee allowed the champion to be a
much. And goodbye for now. Well, goodbye. And calling in three enemy wanger at two Q and the Nelicon joining.
Bobby had a little shit to do.
live music, fantastic face painting, children's crafts and activities, and the mega market with new and pre love goods. Now it's a third.
Australian flag. Mm-hmm. 
many big places can give out like that.
she had the full the eye, and she's got the blank eye. Oh. 
your adult budget you
this or that, just say, excuse me, excuse me, cut it in, cut it in, and then, excuse me, listen, can you give me your home phone Ah. Uh-huh. 
she just
I just have a glance at the talk. And it was exactly for
given me that book a few years before. Um, and it's about, uh, you know, your Quietens 
pop over Australia to be greeted by the very handsome Andrew McLaren be here to see that some can come up with Australia overnight. Andrew, what a monumental task you've got to And they said to me, Andrew, are you ready for this? You will be, of course, Simon Owens' assistant this time around. Yeah. Uh -huh. 